What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, it's where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button and let's jump into this week's topics. First for this week, ran across this new release from Lisu or Lesu. This is a 406 Unimog kit. Now, this brand I typically see release like hydraulic like construction style equipment. They also make a bunch of stuff for the 114th scale big rigs. But this is a new kit from what I can tell that's being released. And it's basically a full metal body Unimog with a realistic Unimog style suspension, locking and unlocking differentials, a two speed detailed you know, rear bed. Everything about it is fairly well detailed. Full interior comes with a light kit, sound kit as well, but it is a kit. Uh, it looks like the cab or the bodywork comes unpainted in like a raw cast metal. It does say welded in the description, but it looks like it's mainly cast pieces. I expect that there's just a little bit of a lost in translation thing going on there. Now it's not a cheap model. It's fairly expensive. The price that I'm seeing it marked as available for on the current pre-orders is around 1100 or 1200 bucks plus shipping from overseas. So yeah, not, not inexpensive. Also, it's not overly large. Pretty short wheelbase, 238 millimeters long. So that probably puts it pretty close to actual 1 10th scale to a 406. But even though, even though it's small, it shows that the weight of this is five kilograms or 11 pounds. So there's a lot to that. There's a lot of mass on this thing. It's still got a decent amount of speed. And again, it's just got a lot of functions, a lot of detail. It also says that it comes with a lined gift box. So maybe it's got some really nice packaging. But if Unimogs are just your thing, I think the only one that I've seen that's nicer than this was from that like scale art company. I think theirs was closer to $10,000. And from one highly detailed item to another, Scale Garage Systems has got another new release. This one for the RC four wheel drive Blazer hard body. And this is one of their you know, kind of signature style rear racks that will replace the rear top of that Blazer. And this is a mix of aluminum and wood this time. The wood just going through with a natural wood look gives it a, a nice, as they say, classic elegance look. These rear bed setups are made from a mix of laser cut as well as hand fabricated parts. The detail and just the precision of these is of another level. There's something to be seen in person. I have to say they're really, really impressive. So if you've got one of those blazers, you're looking to give it a little bit different look from what you may have been used to seeing, this is a great item to check out. Go check out Scale Garage Systems. I'll link to them in the description below as well as links to all of this week's stories. FMS had the full release of the Hummer H1 model. This is a 112 scale licensed GM Hummer H1. And like many of the FMS cars, it is super detailed. This is right along the lines of like the 112 scale Jimny. It's got a very realistic undercarriage. Uh, a drivetrain is true to scale with independent suspension all the way around, portal boxes. This does have four wheel steer, which I don't believe you see that commonly on H1s, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, the locking and unlocking differentials, it's got two wheel drive, four wheel drive selector, multi-speed gearbox, I believe. All of the doors and windows and the front hood, everything opens up underneath of that hood. It's got a realistic spinning fan on the engine. It's powered by a 380 motor. So these little models, they're, they're made to be drivable models mainly. They're not a performing vehicle. They're made to just look accurate and function. So. It's right in line with like the 112th Jimny, very similar, but just very well done overall as far as like the scale aspect of it. If you're trying to find it, it, you know, make it a performer, probably not the model to choose. But if you just want the most realistic 112 scale RC Hummer you can get, I can't think of one that pops into my head that would beat this out. Now, all of those features aren't cheap. And for a 112 scale, this is near the top of that price range. It's $329. But for all of the features that are packed in there, there is a lot. You, you have to admit that to try and get all of that 20 LEDs, the opening panels, hard body, uh, multi-channel radio function servos everywhere, you're getting a lot for the money. But at that kind of smaller, more odd scale, maybe not the most desirable for a lot of people in the standard, you know, like 
our type of scale market. Choosing 112 scale for this likely targeted to go alongside of some of the other like military type vehicles that are available, you know, as far as like the larger multi-axle vehicles, things like that. So this is well placed for that market and pretty much take it out of the box and it's going to fit right in. If you're interested in this, looks like these things are available either now or soon. They went out to a ton of people and I assume that then the production models are either available now or like I said, you'll be able to pick these up soon. If you're interested in them, I'll put a link to where you can find them direct from FMS below or check any of your local retailers who may carry FMS. Last week, SSD released a new heavy duty brass diff cover option for the Axial SCX-10 III straight axle that will work on the now popular Axial 10.3 Bronco that had been on sale the last couple of weeks and a ton of those got scooped up. So this will work on those AR45 straight axles as well as the Axial SCX Pro. So if you've got that, that uses the same center section diff cover and this will be compatible across those. So check that out wherever you buy SSD. Thanks to Old Time RC for sponsoring this week of the Scan News Update. This week, Old Time RC is showing a new SUV body, a familiar SUV type body specifically made to fit on the Traxxas TRX4, or it's that size. It may look somewhat familiar. <laughs> this body is made out of PETG though, not the hard molded body that you'll find that came on the Traxxas TRX4M. So if you're looking to cut a bunch of weight, but still wanted the style, which this resembles the body that you could get on the TRX4M, then check this one out. It's linked in the description below. This made on the same vacuum forming machine that they sell. So also if you're interested in making your own bodies that may look like other bodies that you may have seen before, check out their website, oldtimerc.com. You can get free shipping on orders over 200 bucks as well. Check those out. Thanks again to Old Time RC for sponsoring this month of the Scale News Update. Baker's Products released an updated version of their 1.9 brake weights. This now made out of brass. These are a little bit heavier than the previous stainless steel versions, but other than that, pretty much the same across the board. They'll work with any SLW hub, come with the longer hardware needed to bolt them up on any of the Vanquish wheels. You can check those out at any of your Vanquish dealers or on VanquishProducts.com. Last week, we talked about the new Lily body, and I believe it came from Racers Paradise, and that was overseas. But these are available now in the US if you're interested. G Speed posted up that they've got a bunch of them in the States. So if you're looking to get one of those and you didn't want to order from overseas and bring it over, you can get one now. Only place that I've seen them so far. I put a link to where you can find them on the G Speed website below. Not a ton available, it didn't look like, but if you're looking for something that's kind of had that like old Betty body style, but super scale performance oriented, this is a pretty cool option that sets itself apart. You don't see anything that looks quite like this. And the detail of the Lexan molding looked really good. I think they did a great job overall. Kind of like this one. Check that one out, linked below. Next, RC4 Drive released this new 2.2 tire, but it's only 4.19 inches tall. I can get on board with this one. <laughs> Mickey Thompson MTZ short big wheel tire. I like it. I know it's not for every, it's probably not for most even. I'm guessing that if we took a poll, most people would not be on Team Josh here. But this probably looked pretty good on my class one. Just saying. Let me know if I'm alone on this one. Do you like the big wheel little tire look? Or do you just, you got to have all the sidewall? Kyosho's got a couple of new mini Z's coming out. And I don't cover mini Z's all that often, but these new releases in their first Mini Z series, which is like their more basic, more affordable line, is a Shelby Cobra and a Shelby Daytona. They also have a bunch of imports that go along with it, but I'm a sucker for a Shelby Cobra. And it's cool to see the topless with the driver figure in there and how they did it. I think it looks fantastic. I'm probably not the customer that's picking up the Mini Z's and driving them around. I've had fun driving them on some of like the indoor tracks before, but not something that I've ever really looked to own myself, although it is huge in different areas of the country and of course all over the world. These new releases were spotted at the Suzuko Model Show in Japan. There's not a lot of info as far as all the models that are gonna be released, just a couple of photos that got posted up on some of the overseas websites from the show. They just look super cool, a little different than what I'm typically used to seeing in the Mini Zs, so had to mention them. 
this company I don't see a lot from typically, but it's called Nex Racing. And they just released a ton of options for the TRX4M, as well as the FCX24, and I believe they have some SCX24 option parts as well. But aluminum axle housings, knuckles, portal boxes, and in every like weird color combination you could think of using orange and clear, black, red, and a number of others, just they mix and match. You can just buy like all of the parts together, but in these different combos and pretty much all of the parts, transmissions, axles, knuckles, portals, like all of them. If you've got any of those vehicles and you're thinking about some option parts for them and you haven't really made up your mind yet, check these out first. I'll put a link to them below again tons of different parts for all of those vehicles. Check them out. This Wednesday is Matt's episode of Road to the Rockies. We are coming down to the end. Not much time left and it's all coming down to now. We got to start buttoning this stuff up and making these cars look finished. Really excited to see how far Matt got on all three, two, one, I don't know, of his vehicles. Seen a little bit of progress on his Instagram, but Check that video out first thing Wednesday morning. And then later that day, Wednesday evening, come watch Livestream Takeover, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Another weekend and still a ton of stuff to talk about. Come hang out with us live, or of course you can watch it after the fact. And then we've got Friday Night Live. Last week during the stream, I built a brazen scale Chopra. This week, I hope to get a little bit further on both it and my class one. I hope so. Come hang out with us then as well. 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern yet again. Last week I asked you guys like what your skill was that just goes a little underappreciated. And some people like the obvious answers that were just not so obvious were some of the best, you know, just the mechanical aptitude in general, like just to be able to see something, tear it apart and you can, you'll know how it goes back together. No concern just diving into something or just common sense. One that it's like, yeah, okay. I, there's some time, there's times that when you're on the internet and you understand, but for this week, I want to know all of us shop online. We've we, or many of us shop online. You're online right now. Obviously, if you're hearing my voice, I want to know what is your favorite brick and mortar shop, or at least what's the closest shop to you? And are they a shop that caters to your, you know, scale needs, your off-road, you know, trail truck type products or are they just your local shop you go there when you need something but they just don't always have the you know parts you wish they carried let us know shout out your local hobby shop or your favorite shop or just the one that's closest to you that you just have to go to and let us know where you're at be interesting to hear what parts of the country you guys are at and you know what shop names pop up the most put your answers in the comments below love reading your guys's comments my favorite part of the scan news update with that, as always, I appreciate you guys watching the Scale News Update every Tuesday. Thanks again for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. As always, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.